We're going to hop in with the Summit XT. We're going to hop through all the different features and point out some of the primary differences and X factors of this vest versus the others. The first thing to call out on all of our full-size vests, which includes the Summit XT, the Summit, and the Legacy, all of these vests have the ability to transport an injured dog out of the field. That was really one of the innovations that Final Rise pioneered back in 2020, I believe, when we first started making vests and offering them on the market. It was something that just hadn't been done yet. If you're anything like me, the dogs are probably the very reason that you hunt and being able to take care of them is just as important to me as it is going out and having a good time in the field. So being able to load up an injured dog, which I've had to do, it's one of those things that stinks, but being able to help get them out of the field quicker, it's so much easier to load that dog on your back and be able to take all of your gear out of field out of the field in one load versus trying to just strap everything together and maybe leave some equipment behind and the way that we accomplish that and again this is included on all of the full-size vests is we have this g-hook design so if i give this a little bit of slack and i push these through i'm able to remove that as well as this other one and now i'm able to separate the game bag we have some light framing on the inside of the game bag on all the full size and this is going to allow a dog to lay on top of this this is going to fold underneath the weight of the dog and so it's going to give it a nice flat surface that it can lay on and i mentioned this when i talked to folks no it was not designed to just full-on carry dogs it is a bird hunting vest but having that feature designed into that eliminates the need to be able to carry some other type of harness or animal transportation device that you might want to throw in there. So you're saving weight, you're saving money, and you're getting a lot more value out of your vest. Biggest differences between the Summit XT and the standard Summit is the fabric and the shell pockets. Everything else is essentially equal. Now this does include sewn-in jacket lashes where that is an additional accessory that has to be added on to the Summit. But the meat and potato difference, this is a thousand denier fabric. On the Summit, it uses a 500 denier fabric, and then the brown and orange accents are in the thousand. But this entire vest is constructed out of thousand denier fabric. Now, denier refers to the, basically the weave, or the, excuse me, the size of the fiber that's used in the fabric itself. So thousand versus 500. Obviously, it is twice the durability. It's not twice the weight. This isn't a six pound bird vest. It's still very, very light, right around three pounds and the lightest in its class, but it is more abrasive resistant. So if you're really hard on your gear, if maybe you neglect to clean it out, different things like that, that, or you're pushing more cover, that's another thing too. Here in the West, you know, grouse hunting here is probably about as thick as it gets, but the majority of that we're pheasant hunting or we're chucker hunting. So the fabric isn't being pushed on a lot. I have five years on my previous vest, which is a Summit. It's that 500 weight fabric. I've hunted almost every species in North America with it on, and it's doing fantastic. You take care of it, it'll last a lifetime. But for guys that maybe neglect that, the thousand weight, uh, the thousand denier fabric is definitely worth the small upgrade in cost there. And then the shell pouches, this is a big difference as well. So this is a magnetic closure right here. You're able to just drop that down. It's going to secure in place. You can pull that back. And just very simple, no look. You can flip the pocket closed. It's gonna keep everything nice and secure. We really dialed in the length of the lid to be able to ensure that it's very minimal exposure on either side of the lid. So it's gonna keep the breeze out. And then if you're getting in and out of your truck, it's gonna be secure enough that it's not gonna be dumping shells or different things like that. So you have the magnetic option versus the standard summit, which is a zipper and Velcro closure. One thing to point out here is on the bottom side of the magnet here, we do have some hook Velcro. That is to create a little bit of separation between the fabric faces because if you sandwich the two magnets together and you have that fabric, just like when you rub your hands together really quick and create that friction and dirt starts peeling off, the same thing can happen with fabric. So to protect that, we've used this Velcro piece here. And this benefit is twofold. So it's protecting and providing additional longevity into the product itself. And then if you tuck it on the inside of the shell pouch, 
there's actually a four inch cut of loop Velcro or female Velcro that that lid can lay to and hold it securely in place. So now the lid is fully laying flat against the inside. It's as if it was one layer of fabric to give you immediate access into there unobstructed. If you're walking big open country, if you're hunting quail, if you're hunting pheasants, you need quick reloading, that's a great option there. The other benefit with that loop on the inside of the shell pouch is that there is the bottom two inches of it that are not covered when the lid is closed inside, and it's going to allow you to attach a modular bandolier or shell loops on the inside of that. Those are features that are unique specifically to the Summit XT shell pouch. Another difference, it has a dual zipper option versus the Summit that only has a single um, unidirectional closure. This is a big enough pouch to fit most of the smartphones on the market. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, I think, and it fits in there just fine. A lot of guys will leave this pouch open and just run it essentially as a drop-in pouch for their transmitter, for their alpha, or their handheld, and then they'll just tether it onto the D-ring. So keep keeps it separate from your shell pouch, um, but if you wanna carry your wallet, your keys, snacks, anything like that that you don't want in with your shells, um, you've got that additional pocket on the outside there. And then the last difference in those shell pouches is this has a webbing attachment point on the front and back. That's going to allow the shell pouch to be compatible with the transmitter pouches, the bear spray canister. You can clip a knife onto here. You can put a flashlight on there. I mean, really anything out there, you have the ability to have that very inline where it sits on the front or on the back. It's not gonna add additional width to your system. It has those things right there, and it's a module option versus a fixed closed pocket that things can fall into. It's hard to clean out. It just makes it really nice to be able to have the option if you want that pouch or not, and if you don't, that's okay. On the game bag, and these features will be the same on both the Summit and the Summit XT, you do have Molly webbing on all three sides. That makes these full-size vests compatible with the additional uh, storage pockets that we offer. We have a rear accessory pouch as well as side accessory pouches. It already has three built-in zippered pouches. There's one that's accessible right here on the side that allows you access to this entire rear panel that you can see right here. Great for first aid, snacks, a short lead, anything that you wanna be able to carry there. It's keeping that weight up high on your back, which is going to minimize the amount of pressure that goes under the shoulder harness versus a very large pocket where we feel like we want to put everything that creates what we call the saggy diaper. So to combat that, we've moved that pocket up to here as well as added two zippered pouches on the side here. And the entire side of this game bag, if you can see it here, this whole thing is a pocket as well. So beyond the ability to add additional storage if you really need it, You've got a lot of organization already built into the vest, very streamlined, very minimal, and it just helps with keeping that narrow profile and keeping that weight down as well. In a nutshell, I believe that that covers the Summit XT and its primary features. All right, now we've got the standard Summit on the table here, and I've already mentioned a lot of the primary differences, but do want to be able to show you this vest itself. This vest is using the 500 denier fabric, like I said, Fantastic fabric, lighter weight, but very, 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 very durable. Similar features to the Summit XT, you're gonna have the two zippered pockets on the side. You have the angled zipper pocket here. You have the molly webbing across the back. You've got your bungee. You've got your G hooks. You've got the water bottle holders. Big difference coming to the shell pouch. This has a, what we call a three-stage shell pouch, so you can zip it all the way closed. If you want to have the zippered open, you can do so, and then obviously the Velcro is going to cover that. If you need to get into it super quick, you can grab and do that, and you can also tuck the lid down inside. Now, this one doesn't have Velcro on the inside to secure it in place. Honestly, isn't an issue for the most part. As mentioned, there is a single directional zipper we always make sure that our zipper is close to the back of the vest. If you are pushing through brush, you don't want to have the brush pull your zipper open. So everything closes to the back. Also, we have some molly webbing on the front here. We have a bandolier option or shell holder option that we'll attach here. There's some guys that like to tether up their, their alphas or their transmitter, whatever they're running, and tuck the antenna on the inside of there just to keep it in place so it's not bouncing around. You've got a lot of different options there. 
They are both vertical and lumbar bladder compatible. There's a sleeve that runs on the inside of those game bags to be able to accommodate those two different designs. Beyond the fabric class difference and the additional shell pouch differences, the dimensions are the same of the game bag, same pocket, same accessory compatibility. It is just, again, a different fabric class and the shell pouches are a little bit different as well. Two different styles to accommodate two different hopes and desires when it comes to your bird hunting wants and needs. So that would be the standard summit.